I think the entire community is with me when I say we're glad to see you doing so well. <laughs> you know, sure. I didn't know what to expect when I came over. I'm like, babe, make sure your mask up. We want to make sure that we protect yeah, yeah, Joe, yeah. but you looking strong oh, and yeah. healthy as ever. Right I know before even you got this diagnosis, you were making some health changes and advocating for people to do some things. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of those changes that you've made over the years in terms of your health and why those kind of changes are so important as it relates to colon cancer. Well, I started like, um, I, I know you're referring, probably you're referring to like the 30 minute walk era. So like, you know what I'm saying? Started building up this 30 minute walk era with basically something that helps relieve stress. It uh, helps you lose weight. Um, and it's just healthy for you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm an athlete, so I came from playing football. I came from stuff like that. But I went to, like, um, I'm a little older now, so I can't I can't sit and run around the block no more. So, but I had to find a way to get, at, like, you know, get get out here somehow, some way. So I started, I, I seen this post, like, years ago about how 30-minute walks, what they do for you. So I started doing 30-minute walks in my neighborhood, too. I walk my neighborhood. I don't go far. But I, I'm, I'm walking my neighborhood, and I like I had to balance it out now. Well, my chemo is every other week, so like the weeks of I'm, I'm not able to do my walking really. I am, but I can't push it like that. So and then the week, then my strong weeks, the week after that, I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Cold, rain, sleep, I, all of it. I'm out here, but yeah.